What up, what up, YouTube Alex? Coming back at you with another custom StarCraft 2 cast spotting on the bottom right hand side of the map. It's our yellow Genitron player Jason going up against his opponent, spawning on the top left hand side of the map. You'll probably recognize him. It's our green Protoss player Yu. Now, if you're new to my channel, Yu is a grandmaster player from Australia. I'm not sure about Jason's level, but I assume he's of a similar skill level to Yu. And Yu is by far one of the most prolific custom Zion races players out there. If you're not familiar with the custom Zion races mod, this mod adds three new playable races to the StarCraft universe. It's a super sick mod, and I highly recommend you guys check it out when you get the chance. Now, what am I seeing right here on the minimap? <laughs> Oh no, Jason, what are you doing? He's throwing down an expansion at his third. He is forgoing the natural right now, and he also put down a manufacturer in the corner of his main base, but you does spot this, so he sees that there is some, some sort of production at the very least on his opponent's side of the map, but he's still confused, and I would be too, as we can see, throwing down this probe on patrol in the natural base location. He does have a scout. Oh, sorry. Jason has a scout right here. What am I saying? So, Jason has a scout as well. But man, this is a risky move. This tells me that Jason is doing something sneaky. He wants to hide his build just a little bit. He does have a Spitfire right here. Will likely take out this probe. You trying to save this thing, but it only has five HP. One more hit and it goes down and there it goes. Getting killed. I believe that's the first worker killed this game. And now we have what is a really weird start to this custom Zion races game. This base is a really risky move. It's going to be really hard to defend especially against a grand master level player but at the same time you doesn't necessarily know what's going on but he has to know something's happening i think at this point he's scouting for uh <laughs> i think he's scouting for proxies and i would too i mean he does see what was the production in the corner of his opponent's side of the map but at the same time he saw that there's no expansion that he knows of on the map as well he does have a stalker he does have what is going to be the shield battery thrown down on his side of the map as well so you is still relatively blind this game and in the words of harstom knowledge is king so the more you know about what your opponent is doing the more likely you are to win the game or at the very least you will be able to respond <laughs> to what your opponent's doing right now and you is totally blind he saw the manufacturer so he knows there's going to be some tier one units he saw the spitfire so he knows that there are actually tier one units on the field but he doesn't necessarily know if it's going to be a heavy Spitfire play or if Jason's going to go for something sneaky or some sort of proxy, but we see what is going to be a lot of Spitfires on the field. How is you reacting to this? He is actually throwing down... He's throwing down a Stargate. He's, he's building a he's building an Oracle, and we do have what is the Interdictor in the mineral line for Jason. This is anti-air static defense, but these... Uh, these Spitfires, unlike the Marine, do not shoot up. So this Oracle will be safe as long as it does not get taken out by that Interdictor. We also have a couple Stalkers right here, but I think the Stalkers will go down to what is a lot of Spitfires. We also have the Blitzers. The Blitzers do shoot up. We, and here we go. We have the Oracle with zero kills. This Interdictor doing a decent amount of damage, but the Oracle still alive, but still with zero kills. At the very least, able to scout things out, sees what is that, uh, that third base. Technically, I was going to say that second base coming down because I'm so used to seeing uh, the base come down in the natural as any caster would. This is a super interesting start. I really don't understand why Jason took that third base. It looks like Jason paused the game with some lag, but they are back at it. Lucky for us, watching a replay, we do not have to suffer through that pause. Now, one thing I was going to say is uh, I am suffering from allergies, guys. I was going to cast a game yesterday but i could not do it i physically could not breathe and i would take a benadryl and cast but benadryl makes me comatose so we are just dealing with it today i'm trying my best not to sound like a mouth breather but i am about 80 percent of a mouth breather right now 20 20 more percent and i would not be able to speak so yeah i'm kind of dying i look like i've been punched in the face but we're not gonna let any pollen keep us from casting starcraft 2 and here we go we have what is the third base in a little bit of jeopardy right now for you 
you were trying to take out these blitzers but these blitzers super tanky not worried about that oracle in the very slightest not even taking half damage almost taking half damage but not quite and here we go i believe this third base will go down and i'm actually curious did did you scout this so he did so he did see that there was a base in the third location for his opponent and here we go though we have what is the yellow army cleaned up by the green protoss this uh mortal with two kills how many workers were killed this game five workers killed by yellow zero by green and with the commit to the oracle that's kind of rough you want to do some sort of economical damage if you go for a stargate play oracles are not cheap and going for the stargate is not a cheap investment at all so that might slow down the tech for you just a little bit keep in mind he is a grandmaster level player though so he is still in this game and one thing to say about you is uh he does not he does not falter under pressure if he is behind he is not scared and i think that's part of what makes him such a good starcraft 2 player and here we go we have a fourth base coming down for jason i still can't get over that i think he was gonna try to try and do something sneaky and then realized his manufacturer was spotted and decided to go for a macro game instead but this is a lot of spitfires right here how many is this i'm not even gonna count them wait actually we can take a look at the units what am i saying 15 spitfires going towards the third base location for our green protoss player but we have what is going to be a photon cannon we have the shield battery and we have a decent amount of army supply at that third as well so forcing the retreat for jason jason still going for this huge commit into the uh into the spitfires and we have an equalizer here as well the equalizer i honestly can't quite remember what it does but that's fine there's only one of them it does some range damage and i think it does some extra damage as well and here we go we have what might be a little bit too much of a commit right here for the yellow player but jason going for the kill and actually doing a decent amount of damage taking a look at the resources lost right here three thousand resources lost by green and only 1800 almost 2000 by yellow so a 1000 resources lost deficit for our green protoss player he's still only on three bases taking a look at the worker supply though 63 worker supply to 62 now 65 so relatively even worker supply for both of our players despite the fact that jason is ahead in bases it does look like you may be planning to go for that fourth base himself and we have what is going to be another engagement at the third base location and we have the colossi one of my favorite protoss units i just think it looks so cool we do not see it often enough it is not nearly as popular of a unit as it was back in the starcraft 2 days way back in the starcraft 2 days i want to say in uh heart of the swarm and wings of liberty was when it was most popular and we have a second colossus on the way as well taking a look at the upgrades we have one armor upgrades for for the protoss and we have one one upgrade for for our genitron player we do have the spitfire right here it will go down actually wait a minute no it doesn't oh and it doesn't go down because there's more important things to worry about there's another yellow army in what is not only the natural base but the main base for the protoss player and i think a lot of workers were killed 20 29 31 32 workers so so many workers going down in that engagement and this is going to put you tremendously behind taking a look at the worker supply 41 workers to 70 in favor of jason 50 50 army supply to 58 56 now in favor of jason <laughs> if slightly but still in favor of jason so jason finding himself ahead in this game that was a huge engagement right there unfortunately for you he was not protecting his natural base and he does not have any sort of wall right here so those spitfires drove right into the natural base and right into the main base we don't even have any power on this warp gate as well so you finding himself in a little bit of a pickle right here we'll see what he can do to come back from that loss to his economy 5800 resources lost to 3800 resources lost so a 2000 resources lost deficit for our green rotas player we see what is likely going to be what is this of a sixth base wait a minute one two three four no fifth base for our yellow 
Genitron player. So Jason really playing this game hard. He has what are also, I believe these are Avengers on the field. The Avenger is an anti-air only unit. So this is likely in response to seeing those, uh, those Colossi. So I've never actually seen this build before. We have Avengers and Spitfires, and that's it. It looks like the fourth base will likely go down. These Spitfires will do a ton of DPS, and we have what are the Avengers coming into the back to take out these Colossi. One of the Colossi goes down. The second Colossi goes down, and now we have what is two Colossi left on the field, but these Avengers just overextending a little bit, and these Tickle Cannons able to take out the rest of the avengers with the help of that stalker but the army supply is still in favor of jason 63 army supply to 54 now 67 army supply in favor of our yellow genitron player you guys i'm trying so hard to breathe but my body is is starting to fail me man it's it's getting bad these allergies bro who would have thought that somebody would have allergies in october i just moved to texas like a year ago and apparently allergy season is in October, which makes no sense to me. But here we are. We did see what were a couple of adepts trying to do some damage on the back of some of those losses for you. But you losing those adepts. He still has his, uh, his fourth base, though, which is really good for him. The shields are almost down. We do have one pylon okay here we go we have the shield battery and the photon cannon on the way i was like okay we have a pylon are these also pylons no they are not this is the shield battery this is the photon cannon but i don't know if they're going to finish in time because we have what is going to be a big yellow army coming into engage here we also have the avengers but the avengers maybe maybe straying too far from the main army and taking some losses right there this avenger almost dead we still have two colossi on the field one of those colossus gets sniped though so there's only one colossus left and we have a lot of spitfires good use of the force fields right here though splitting the army and keeping those spitfires at bay and the avengers do go down the the remaining protoss army survives but getting stuck on those force fields we have some adepts on the back of this adepts are great at engaging in tier one units taking a look at the upgrades we have two two to two two uh and i believe this is two attack upgrades for sky units as well for the genitron we have what is three attack upgrades on the way for our genitron player and we have three three upgrades for our protoss player along with along with blink okay so this is still anybody's game man but this is a lot this is a lot of expansions for our yellow Genitron player, and you seriously has to do some damage if he hopes to stay in the late game right here. How many workers were killed? 32 workers were killed by yellow. Zero workers killed. Now one worker killed by, by you, but only at 13, almost 14 minutes in the game. And we have, at the same time, on the back of this, a lot of Spitfires coming in towards the green side of the map. Jason realizing that you is likely fully committed to this push on his side of the map. Might as well go for the attack on the Protoss side of the map. Does lose a lot of these Spitfires, though. So, you able to keep his, his natural base and his main base safe. Jason losing what was his fifth and his uh, fourth base. This fourth Nexus right here still alive somehow. I feel like I feel like Jason could maybe snipe that if he had just a little bit more. A little bit more, but it looks like it looks like you is out for blood. He is hunting for workers. These poor ACRs will go down. And now we have what is 18 workers killed by you, but 45 by Jason. So Jason is still definitely in this game. Worker supply is now in favor for you, though. 75 workers to 63. Army supply also in favor for you. 100 army supply to 87. So it was looking a little sketchy there for him. I'm not going to lie. I was thinking, hey, look, I don't know if he's going to be able to stay into the late game right here. But here we are in the late game with you somehow ahead. But I do suspect he is he is behind in resources lost. He is not. It's actually Jason who's behind in resources lost by 4,000 resources. 16,000 resources lost by Jason to 12,000 by you. So you finding himself ahead in this game. We also have 
one attack right here, it looks like, for the workers in the fourth base location for the Protoss player. We do have the Avengers trying to take out those Colossi. One of the Colossus does go down. And we have what are huge, huge force fields for the Protoss players splitting this yellow army, able to take out a ton of those Spitfires, but losing his Colossus on the back of that. This green army is still looking scary though, especially given the fact that Jason is so heavily committed into tier one units. We have what are Avengers and Spitfires only. Jason throwing out the GG, giving the victory to you. What a twist. I really thought you was maybe going to lose that game, but I was wrong. If you guys enjoyed what you saw, please consider shooting me a like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you want me to cast any of your own games, I will leave my email and discord in the description below and i'll see you guys on the next one